Mercedes Unimog. If you're a Mercedes-Benz lover, you're probably thinking, what is a Mercedes-Benz Unimog? It's a comparatively foreign word since it's not sold in the United States. The Mercedes-Benz Unimog is an all-terrain vehicle that started out as a tractor but soon developed a reputation for its flexibility and usability in a range of applications, including firefighting, mountain exploration, and road paving, to name a few. The Unimog's design integrates a short front end and a large field of vision, as well as controlled braking, stable driving efficiency, simple snow chain installation, rear impact safety features, and excellent vibration protection. The Unimog's powerful hydraulic system with a working pressure of up to 240 bar can run an oil engine or an external control panel, making it suitable both for permanent consumers and for operating implements via valves. Standard plug connectors make for easy, fast, and error-free fitting. Two hydraulic connections each at front and rear, pressure and return line, are available to operate winches, cranes, etc. Resvani Hercules with a 1,300-horsepower engine and bulletproof ballistic armor protection, the Resvani Hercules 6x6 is the most powerful road-going six-wheeled vehicle on the planet. The Hercules 6x6 is a six-wheeled off-road focused pickup truck with a V8 engine that produces 1,300 horsepower. The Hercules, like the Resvani Tank SUV from 2017, starts out as a basic Jeep Wrangler. The Hercules, on the other hand, has undergone extensive modifications to the point where the donor vehicle's origins are no longer discernible. The overall length, for example, is 20.3 feet. The Hercules starts at $225,000, but that's for the 3.6-liter V6 with just 285 horsepower. A 6.4-liter V8 with 500 horsepower is available for an extra $40,000. In both cases, you have the option of a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic transmission. Number 3. Rheinmetall HX 10x10 This vehicle combines excellent off-road mobility and the ability to recover hefty loads. It can retrieve automobiles in both suspended and supported under-lift towing modes. The 10x10 vehicle is very mobile and comes equipped with a 15-ton under-lift and a recovery boom. The recovery boom is a very adaptable recovery device. It has a crane that can lift up to 23 tons, totally extended at 60 degrees elevation, two independent winches for riding vehicles, and a constant pull capstan main winch. Around the recovery vehicle, the recovery boom allows for 360 degree operations. The HX 10x10 HRV can tow up to 15 tons of hook load. The total weight of the train is 75 tons. When combined with an armored cabin, the HX 10x10 HRV provides excellent protection against ballistic, mine, and IED threats. Fitted for, but not with, vehicles are possible. This implies they can have an armored cabin level built into them. Rescue. The value of rescue vehicles cannot be overstated since they may be incredibly useful during natural disasters such as landslides in steep areas or cyclones in coastal cities. Military trucks, which perform well in rough terrain and have a large carrying capacity, are usually the vehicles that come in handy. Dedicated rescue vehicles, on the other hand, are in high demand, something that India appears to lack. Meet Geo Rescue, a Romanian dedicated rescue truck that is possibly the most flexible vehicle of its kind on the planet. And precisely the type of vehicle that every emergency response team's rescue arsenal should include. Geo Rescue is Romanian Geo Motors' newest vehicle. According to officials, the rescue is capable of operating in any terrain and in all weather. The vehicle can be equipped with petrol engines ranging from 340 to 500 horsepower or diesel engines ranging from 218 to 304 horsepower. Geo Rescue is the best option for transportation in all types of terrain and weather. Despite its truck-like look, the performance version of the Rescue is actually a powerful and fast all-terrain vehicle with off-road solutions derived from racing and a concept that is close to racing. It has the capacity to carry up to 11 passengers.
Yamal V6M The Yamal V6M has a transmission design that is quite close to the renowned Zil 157. However, it is based on some Cam AZ 5387 units. On three intermediate supports, the automobile has seven drive shafts at the same time. The demand for higher structural durability, as well as the flexibility to selectively disconnect the drive to distinct bridges, explains the lack of a passable middle bridge. The Ministry of Defense's rising interest in off-road vehicles with ultra-low pressure tires is evidenced by demonstrations of such vehicles at Army forums. All-terrain vehicles must effectively illuminate the terrain when driving at night and in a blizzard with a visibility of 1 to 2 meters. In addition, it provides for the possibility of driving in the dark only with night vision devices. Toyo Tires BJ Baldwin Toyo Tires has unveiled the Ferret, a vehicle driven by off-road champion BJ Baldwin that demonstrates how Toyo Open Country Tires can take any vehicle through any terrain. A 1959 British Ferret 4x4 military scout vehicle served as the foundation for the Ferret. It has six massive Toyo Open Country Tires mounted on special wheels, two of which are powered by hydraulic motors controlled from within considerably modified from its original design by Action Vehicle Engineering. The Toyo Ferret off-road vehicle based on a 1950s armored military scout vehicle was created to showcase the company's open country tires and it does so admirably. The original engine of the Ferret was replaced with a powerful LS V8. The chassis was improved with King shocks and a unique grappling hook launcher was attached to the winch cable. With its upgraded suspension and King shocks, the Ferret can easily traverse difficult terrain and overcome obstacles. A Chevrolet LS engine was installed in the back to bring American muscle and improved horsepower. A custom-built launcher with a grappling hook linked to a winch rope sits atop the Ferret. Oshkosh JLTV The Oshkosh Joint Tactical Light Vehicle JLTV, was developed for the U.S. Army and Marine Corps by Oshkosh Defense. It is intended to replace the aging HMMWV Humvee High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicles fleet. The Oshkosh JLTV is available in four versions, including a two-door utility vehicle, a general purpose vehicle, a weapon-required arms carrier, and a transport vehicle with a heavy gun. To meet the mission-specific requirements, the vehicles can be installed with a range of armaments and communications systems. The Core 1080 Crew Protected System aboard the JLTV improves the survival of passengers. By integrating advanced engineering techniques, the Crew Protection System optimizes vehicle safety. The vehicle provides protection at MRAP level from blasts under the hull. The JLTV is powered by a turbo diesel Duramax V8 engine coupled with an automatic six-speed transmission. It is equipped with an intelligent suspension system, TAC-4i, which provides a superior ride experience across various terrains. Atlas ATV Atlas is a next-generation all-terrain vehicle that can go anywhere. And yes, it can go anywhere. All it needs is something to hang on to with a wheel. Reliability, speed, universality, ease of use, and remarkable passability are just a few of the benefits. Yes, all of those characteristics can be found in one vehicle, the Atlas, a, a new unique all-terrain vehicle. Atlas's overall dimensions and amount of usable space make it a universal all-terrain vehicle. It can be customized for any task or purpose at the request of the customer. Passengers can number up to 12 in total. The interior design allows for the deployment of a stretcher. Air suspension with a vibration dampener, as low as possible center of gravity, high ground clearance, differential lock, control system for both pairs of wheels, Atlas has a huge variety of techniques to deal with any kind of off-road terrain.
Sleipnir. This huge Sleipnir bus was created to suit the needs of travelers who wanted to see Iceland's icebergs. This bus has eight wheels and measures 15 meters in length. A special vehicle is required to pass through Iceland's melting ice. The enormous paths of this hard region might quickly swallow your standard off-road vehicle. But that doesn't simply imply seeing the magnificent natural landscape is impossible. Exam and an eight-wheeler bus will do. An 850 horsepower engine powers the bus. In icebergs, it may reach velocities of 60 kilometers per hour. Of course, the above strength comes at a cost. The Sleipnir is a true water automobile. It burns 45 gallons of gasoline per 100 kilometers.